Well, hello, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. Firstly, thanks for all the really nice comments in the first start video. You, you guys could pick up how nervous I was, and those nerves get to continue with this video, because although the motor started and sounded smooth, um, there's still a lot of things that can go wrong, and hopefully we don't have any of those in this video, because this is going to be the first test drive. Now, I need to show you guys what's happened since. Now, if you're new to this, this is the first video you've seen, we're currently in the process of putting a China-built forged motor in this car that I assembled, and I don't know how to assemble engines, and I'm also putting an 8 HP with a Turbo Lamec controller kit in it. It's actually an 8 HP 70, and it should be a pretty solid transmission and do more than we ever need to do with this lovely N54. So in the last video, I made a comment, or I made you guys aware that my trans bracket wasn't right. Uh, and you do need a custom, tra not custom trans bracket, you need a different trans bracket if you put an 8 HP 70 into an E90. And the one I ended up ordering was from an E90 330 diesel with a 6 HP 26. So if you use that trans bracket, that's the right angle bracket that mounts to the box and then comes and sits on the cross member. The cross member is the original one from this vehicle. And these brackets are pretty cheap, but yeah, it actually, with the spacer for the turbo lamic adapter, it all mounts up OEM, which is perfect. So no custom bracket needed. You can just buy an off the shelf part. Now those brackets were originally, I think real OEM lists them at like 30 US dollars. So they're pretty cheap. I ended up paying 140 because I needed it quickly, but we are in and that means we can go and drive the car. Other things I have done, all of the suspension is back on, the intercooler's on, it's got coolant in it now. <sighs> right, I think it's time to bring it down. Oh! One other thing, let me lower the car down. David Lamick did explain why we were getting the transmission error in that last, or the first start video. Um, I'll see you inside the car, won't be two seconds. Actually, I'll just show you the engine bay. I haven't got the cowl along the top. Um, the reason I've left that off, it's just much easier to hear the engine. So if it starts knocking or doing anything weird while I'm on the test drive, I will hear it a lot sooner than if all those trim pieces are back on. But the entire intake is on, the pod filters are on, catch cans on. Yeah, like I said, it's got coolant in it now. The intercooler's in there. Ooh, nerve-wracking times. Okay, well, we can shut the bonnet. Um, now, the reason I haven't done much in the interior, it's just a pain in the ass to get in this car, or in a, any car, when it's on the hoist. You end up with a very small opening. And I'll put the interior back when we've got a bit more space. So the thing that I'd forgotten to do, this original connector here, actually, let me try and get some light in there for you guys. This original connector here, which was the for the 6HP, shifter with the turbo lamic kit you just need to short out pins two and three and i've just got a little test wire in there but i did power it up before i haven't started the car since the last start i'll just power it up and hopefully you'll see that we don't have any errors so the car is error free transmission wise where before it was showing a shifter error <sighs> crazy stuff all right um so i've got to get the car out it's a bit of a pain to get it out of the garage because we only have that one door and quite a sharp angle. Um, I want you guys to be here for the start. So let's see if it starts up. I did flash the uh, wedge tuning base map back, on, back onto the car. Uh, so the kill map, which killed the engine last time, <laughs> which was a bit too aggressive, is now off. We've now got a run-in tune. However, the run-in tune was still like Lamborghini Hurricane fast. So I've got to be careful with how I drive it. And I also want to touch on, a lot of people were talking about how to run in the engine. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to go and run the engine in now and I'm still really not sure the best way to do it. Some people say you want to load it up straight away and get the rings to bed in. There's not, there wasn't a lot of smoke. So I feel like the rings are starting to seat fairly well. If the rings weren't seating, I feel like it would have smoked a lot more than it did smoke the other day. Um, and I don't want to thrash the bearings when they're cold. So I kind of just want to heat. So I, I'm more worried about the bottom end than the rings. That's just me personally. Um, let's start it up. Oh, and, and the other thing, I am really limited with what I can do. Uh, Turbo Lamic wants me to basically make sure the car drives. And then I need to do a live tuning session with him. He wants to make sure that the transmission is performing correctly before I go and thrash it. But for this video, let's just see if we can drive the car around the block, see what leaks we get. See if we get any knocks from the engine once it's at a proper running temperature. And I guess let's see if it still starts. Uh, because I've been faffing around, let me prime the fuel pump again so it's got fuel pressure. That's just crazy how, okay. Oh, all right, we've still got the error. Or did the error just go away? Maybe it just realized. Will it let me select drive? 
Goes into drive nicely. Okay, maybe the error... No, the error is there. Shit. I'll be back. Alright, guys. I'm not having much luck here. Um, yeah, can't get it to work. But, I've been messing around for about 45 minutes. I've been going through wiring diagrams. Uh, David Lamek sent me a picture of a black connector and he said pin 2 and 3. I cannot find out where pin 2 goes. Pin 3 is connected to one of the connectors in the engine bay and it's you actually use that pin when you do the DCT conversion. Um, also with the DCT conversion you connect pin 2 to the park lock. So I don't know what pin 2 actually goes to. I don't know if it's the right connector. I don't know but I'm going to try and drive it. Um, engine's been running for about three minutes in total. Everything sounds okay. Uh, the worst part about what I've got to do is get it out. So, handbrake is off. Handbrake. Handbrake. Hmm. I was looking around. It could be either of these two connectors. They look very similar. Anyway, we'll worry about it later. I'm going to move it forwards. This is going to be its first move. So, into drive. Just feels so smooth. The, the idle is a bit low. A little bit of tap at noise. Hey, you know, it crawled forwards. Going over the lump on the hoist. And... That's it! First drive! Nah, now I've got to drag the back end over. I'm going to turn it off because sometimes it takes a little while to drag the back end. I'll see you in a sec. <sighs> okay. This clip will explain why I'm out of breath, but it's taken about 15 minutes and I can't really move the car. So we're just going to have to shunt and I guess test how the, the Lamek goes from reverse to drive. <sighs> oh, I'm put the key in. Oh, and I changed it to pin three and four and the arrow went away. Um, might need to work that out with with Lamech, but in the meantime, let's see what happens. So, D2. Like it creeps forwards quite. Oh shit. We could have some sticky brakes here. Okay. Do we have reverse? We have reverse. Okay, that creeped back quite nicely. I'm gonna hit the hoist. Okay, let's drive, oh, drive. Okay, the front has now gone down a bit of a ledge. Let's see how the transmission copes with pulling it back up. Not well, that's not good. Okay, we have no reverse, no error. Hmm. Now, this could be a oil level issue. Well, it bites into drive all right. That's too much revs. All good. Okay, could be a calibration issue, could be an oil level. Either way, I'm now stuck. See you guys in a second. Okay. I'm out of the shed somehow, but it may never go back in. It feels like it's not got, like the torque converter's not engaging or something. Um, which is kind of scary. It's doing all the, it's making the right noises. Oh no, we've got drive in forwards. Just no drive in reverse. All right guys, this is it. I've had enough. I'm out of breath guys can't even see but let's take it for a drive all right oh my god that is nearly an hour and 45 minutes since I went up into the shed and I thought I'd be going out so you can see it, we're in second gear it's not shifting got no errors though which is nice I think I'm more worried about the transmission now. I've been freaking out about the engine the whole time. Let's see if it shifts. Oh, it shifted into third. How is it that smooth out of the box? A little bit jerky. It's holding fourth 
gear. We're just in program mode one. Everything is cold. Ooh. Bit of a bit of a clunk on the downshift. But okay, so it slips there. It is slipping. Quite a lot of trans slip actually. Which isn't ideal. Sorry the windows are down, got no AC in this thing yet. Uh, we're in sixth gear at 55 kilometers an hour. Okay. I'll probably just pull up straight away. I think it's downshifting quite nicely. Oh, okay, that's a lot of slip. Okay. All right. Sorry, traffic. Sorry, motorbike. Sorry, sorry. I'm broken. Okay, I'm going to try and limp it back to the house uh, because... Something weird's going on. And David Lamech did say he wanted to log in and check something. Um, I'm just gonna remove that pin there, just in case, nah, that ain't gonna have anything to do with it. Got nothing funny going on there, except for the oil being cold. Mode switch is fine. All right, I'm gonna see if I can limp it back to the house. In fact, we'll wait till there's no cars coming. All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, here we go. See if we can make it back. Actually, it pulled away fine then. Oh, there's all stuff loose in the boot. Yeah, it pulled away fine then. It bites into gear, it's just the take-up's a bit not great, which might be something it has to learn, but I don't want to damage anything and I don't want to get stuck anywhere. But it feels good. It's just that initial take-up, like it doesn't bite very well. And I haven't ran the box through the gears and done all the, like a proper fill. Guys, it feels pretty, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. The very light throttle. I'm gonna keep going. Hey, the engine sounds all right. That's a win. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I forgot how uphill this section is. Um, I guess we'll try and carry some speed. Speed, speed, speed. Oh, there's the power steering low. Okay, it pulled up the hill all right and it shifted into fourth. We are pulling up a pretty steep hill. It's in fifth, stop changing gear. So that, that light low driving, it feels perfect. Um, it's just the initial take up when we're not moving that's worrying me. And the car needs power steering fluid. Should we do a wheel spins? Traction control's working. Okay, so we've got an uphill start here. And I'll show you what it does. Oh. It, it takes away fine. I wonder if it's adapting. I do think I'm supposed to do some sort of adaptation process. I really should have done more reading. Sorry, Lamech. Um, I'm learning as I go here. Everyone at Lamech. All right, let me see if I can get back up the shed. Ah, see, big slip then. Definitely need, oh my God, so much slip. All right, let's, since we're on a hill, we'll go to first. Okay, we're in first now. See, he doesn't want to move. Change modes. Oh, we're in mode five. P1, 1D. don't want to move. Back to park. Okay, we're in park. Why did I show off? Okay, bites. Just start moving. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt. You know what? This shady spot's probably pretty good. I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> All right. I'll give you an update in a second. Well, I've been playing with the software. Um, car's probably been running for a total of maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Obviously engine oil is at pressure. We're in neutral at the moment. You can have a listen. And it's not smoking. Engine sounds okay, which is sort of a relief. Although it hasn't had any load on it. It's not smoking. 
I think I'm just going to do a, a semi-gentle braking over 100 k I'm not going to go nuts with the braking on the motor. And I don't want to leave it idling for too long, but I kind of need to leave it idling to get this transmission sorted. And I went back through and read everything, and I'm supposed to have Turbo Lamic remoted in when I do the first drive. My bad. I forgot. Um, so obviously they do some sort of adaptation. And I've been looking at the adaptation settings, and you've got stuff to play with but I really don't want to mess it up and then potentially put this back another week because I break something in the transmission. At this point in time, it goes forwards fine, sort of. And the car will creep, but it just won't creep backwards. Oh, as I said that, it's, it's going backwards. Well, that's weird. Maybe it's learning. and the gear bites so then it starts pulling back all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess with it because i'm supposed to involve mr lamick in this um and i kind of want to see what he does and i don't want to ruin it so let's kill it all for now i'm going to end this video off here um and then we'll have oh transmission error okay i've, I've still got to work out some settings this wiring i don't think is correct We'll see, we'll see. Also, somebody actually asked about the park lock. Apparently the park lock should work with the Lamic, but I've manually bolted the park lock out the way, which you can do externally from the gearbox. And I did that just to get the mechatronics in, so I might need to actually manually release the park lock and then it'll work. I will update you guys on that. I'm learning as we go through this, but I'm gonna end this video off here. The car drives, starts. Um, we just need to start putting it through its paces. And what I'm going to do, I'll bring you guys along when I do go through the adaptation process with Lamek when he's logged into this laptop. But yeah, look. The car starts and it sounds all right. Another level of relief has been reached. <laughs> I can't wait to drive it. Um, yeah, gearbox feels solid, but we need to get it feeling smooth when we want it smooth and then solid when we want it in race mode. So I'll give you guys an update. Hopefully, um, I, it's like 2 a.m. in Poland at the moment, but hopefully when they wake up, we can log on and get it rolling a bit better. Till then, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Thank you all very much.